All right. Another linear trigonometric equation, 2 sine 2x minus pi over 3 is equal to 1. So what we will do now, we'll simplify. So divide both sides by 2, and you get sine x, 2x rather, minus pi over 3 equals to 1 over 2. So before we solve that equation, I want you to be aware of the following. The period of this sine function here is 2 pi divided by 2. So that leads you to pi radians. Our domain spreads from 0 to 2 pi. So you're going to have to think how many roots will satisfy the equation. Usually, when the period is 2 pi, sine is positive in first and second quadrant, and the period changes, sine will be positive also within first and the second quadrant, but our quadrants will not be running from 0 to pi over 2, but in this case from 0 to pi over 4. So the full cycle is completed on pi radians, and again you repeat another cycle from pi to 2 pi. So in total you expect to have four roots. So this is something that we need to be aware of. And uh, when you want to modify that equation to see why the period is 2 pi, simply factor out 2 and go x minus and then when you take out 2, so pi over 6 is equal to 1 over 2. So this is the equation that you're going to be working with now. Okay. So we'll do by substitution. So let x minus pi over 6, the entire binomial, including factor 2, x minus pi over 6 in brackets times 2 equals z. Okay. So, the, the domain for x runs from 0 to 2 pi. We have to make the adjustment for domain for the new variable z. So when x is equal to 0, then the value of z is negative pi over 3. So z belongs to the interval. Negative pi over 3 you substitute 0 for x so negative pi over 6 times 2 negative pi over 3. When x is 2 pi so you will do 2 pi minus pi over 6 times 2. So you would have 11 over 6 pi in brackets times 2, 22 over 6 pi. 22 over 6 pi. Think about this value for a moment. 22 over 6 pi gets you close, close enough to 4 pi. So now, when you find a solution to the equation sine z is equal to 1 over 2, for the first spread 0 to 2 pi, you would have 2 roots. And from 2 pi to 4 pi, you expect 2 more roots. So in total, you should have 4 solutions uh, for this equation. Just remember what your domain is from negative pi over 3 to 22 over 6 pi. Okay. So the first solution for z, that should be fairly straightforward. z is equal to pi over 6. Okay. 
then the next one will be pi minus pi over 6 pi over 6 so this is equivalent to 5 over 6 pi right 6 over 6 minus 1 5 over 6 pi and then you add period to the first root and the second root. So Z, remember the domain. So this is why you have to go and look for other possible values. Pi over 6 plus 2 pi. And Z is equal to pi 5 over 6 pi plus 2 pi. So now you have the following roots pi over 6 and list them in sequence pi over 6 5 over 6 pi then you would have 13 over 6 pi when you find the total here and 17 over 6 pi 17 over 6 pi. And please know that you still fit very well into that interval from negative pi over 3 to 22 over 6 pi. Knowing that x is equal, that the variable z was replacing 2 over x minus pi over 6, now we can sort of create informal equation and find values of x. So first, what we'll do, we'll divide all values by 2. So this is what you see by 2, by 2. And then you're going to add pi over 6 to each so you want to isolate for x so first eliminate that factor 2 and add pi over 6 so we'll put plus pi over 6 plus pi over 6 to each plus pi over 6 add pi over 6. you can do individual you could equate 2 in brackets x minus pi over 6 with the first root z and with second, third, and fourth, or you can do in one shot. So now x, x equals, I'm going to start listing. So when you divide it by 2, your den denominator will be 12. So think of pi over 12 plus pi over 6. So this will give you pi over 4. The next one, pi over 5, pi over 12 plus pi over 6. So that will give you 7 over 12 pi. 7 over 12 pi. Another one, 13 over 12 pi plus pi over 6, so this is 15 over 12 pi. And finally, the last one is 17 over 12 plus pi over 6. You, you get 19 over 12 pi. So please note that all those four roots fit nicely into that interval 0 to 2 pi. So this is the solution to the equation. And that will be the happy ending to this video. Thank you very much for watching. And I see you next time. Bye-bye.